Right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Last game of the season today. Our run has seen us win two games in 13. So that is where we're at. We're at the last game of the season. Let's dive in. Let's find out how we've done, what we need to do. We're going to talk about, we're going to go through the last game of the season and then we'll talk about which players are going to have to leave and where we're really going to have to strengthen. So make sure you like today's video for me. Much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new. Links to the Patreon and the Discord. Get involved in my Discord. Be much appreciated. All the links are down below. Let's get into it. I'm the chap with the red scarf on Going around singing we are York We're City, play pretty That is our style of football How charming, just like the Minster A pint of bitter and a slice from Ginster Walking the walk, talking the talk And singing we are York Climbing up the old Division 4 if you score some... Right, so since the last episode We were obviously on that run That awful run um, It came to an end When we beat Manchester City 3-1 um, Jude Bellingham scoring late on for them Uda Beko getting a hat-trick. They also had Kylian Mbappe miss a penalty um, at 1-0. So, yeah, we were a bit lucky. They had 26, four clear cut, four halves. It was our day for a change. So that gave us the magic 40 points. We then lost a couple Man United. We didn't play too badly at, uh, at Bournemouth, but they were like 19th at the time. And then we've just beaten Everton. So the league table looks like that. We're in 13th. We can go as high as, what, 11th. We can go as low as 14th. I haven't been told yet, even though we've survived, I haven't been told yet how much we're going to get. So we'll find out at the end of probably Everton game. Once everything's finished, we'll find out how much money we're going to get to spend next season. So we'll have a little look at that. And as I said, we'll go through the squad now. I've altered things around a little bit. We're going with two presses now. I was debating to go with uh, a th like a three-four-three, quite similar to what I had at Arsenal um, in my Arsenal save. Go three at the back, so a little bit more solid. High wing backs, two inverted, sort of like forwards or or um, or wingers, and then one central central striker. But the majority of this save have had a two up top kind of partnership, so I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with this formation. I have changed a couple of things. Um, I found as in, instead of launching the ball and trying to counter that way, we've we've just gone back to what we're good at, two pressing forwards, working hard. Um, we're defending a little bit narrow. We're, ha we're pressing higher up the pitch. We're counter-pressing instead of regrouping. We're going shorter passing as well instead of going long. Just see if we can get on the ball a little bit. And it, it seems to have worked to an extent. Obviously, the squad needs an absolute massive overhaul. Our best player is probably Jason Reed. He's on loan. Probably our best three players are on loan. Garetti, Cesovic, and Dominic Silva. No, I wouldn't even include Dominic Silva. I'd probably go Jason Reed, but he struggled. He struggled. What we may do is may make a midfielder out of him. If I can get him back, he's 13 million, so he's going to be a, cost a lot of money, but we'll see. Things to think about with Jason Reed. He's maybe not the best defender in the world. He's all right. He's all right. We probably need better. He's only five foot eleven as well. Yeah. So if we do get him back, I think we'll we'll have him as sort of like a backup centre half. But look at using him in in midfield maybe next season. Um, George Glendon, as someone put in the comments, put George Glendon in, and I thought, right, we're safe. We had actually Miatovic keeps getting injured anyway. We've obviously lost the nickel, and he's come in and he's got a seven point. You see that seven point oh two average, um, which for us. Five assists, 13 appearance, 13 starts. He's done pretty well, hasn't he? He's done pretty well. But obviously, we know we need to strengthen. Wages-wise, Dybala's retiring, which is good. That freezes 66 grand. Emile Smith-Rowe as well, 53 grand. We've got a lot already to spend on wages. We've got nearly a quarter of a million pound a week to spend on wages. So the rebuild, hopefully, is going to be absolutely humongous. But we're going to get this game done. And as it's Dybala's last game in professional football, he's going to get a start today. Nathan Dyer wants to go again, which is unfortunate, but I've got into a four-year deal, so he's going, he's going nowhere. And no one wants him. No one wants him as well, poor lad. And also, the last couple of games, Al Altonac has been really poor. He's been really poor. Um, he could well be one player that we let go. If I can get five million for him and get that off the wages, it freezes up. I'm sure we can do a bit of business somewhere. Um, he's been really poor. Cuesta, 
wants a new contract at the end of the season, so I'm going to have to do that. He is also um, very close to getting an international call-up as well for Spain. Kovac's been injured, so while Kier has come in, I think he scored in the last game. Once again, you look, central defender. He's only young, 20, but 11 heading, 12 marking, 14 tackling isn't great. So there's there's holes, there's a lot of holes that need filling. As you can see, not wearing a football shirt again. If you weren't aware, I did put a little schedule at the start of the video. Saturday morning is the football shirt collection video where we just go through all the football shirts that I have purchased in my sort of like lifetime and a lot been over lockdown. So a little football shirt collection, um, something new on the channel. And then every month we're going to go through and talk about, we'll either talk about um, new kits. I'll show you the shirts that I've got for August, things like that. Just So make sure you check that out Saturday morning. Right, here we go. Last game of the season, they've got Bruno Fernandes. Did I say it was Everton? We're not even playing Everton. I'm pretty sure in the video in the start I said it was Everton. It's Fulham. And they're up in eighth. I think like eighth. So they've had a really they were champions last year, obviously, from the championship. So they've had a really good season. They do have a couple of absolute beautiful regens. He's missed the tackle. Mackenzie's going through. He's put it wide. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have. They have this guy. A regen look. A Spanish one that's come through. And who's that guy that they were playing in midfield? Du -du -du. Magukin. Magukin. They did have bought him. But he's quite tidy. We need players like that. But players like that cost a lot, a lot, a lot of money. So I'm searching around like Barcelona B, Borussia Dortmund B, Bayern B, some of the big Italian clubs to see what they have in their sort of like under 23 kind of thing and see if they've missed anybody. Normally the stronger the team is, the, the less opportunities sort of like the younger players get. Um, and we're actually chasing one from Dortmund. Um, just got scouts on him. Hopefully we might even be able to pick him up on a free. But we should have money to spend. It's not as if, it's not as if we're not going to have any pennies to spend. I said we've already got like 52 million. We've made £87 million profit already this season. And that's not including the money that we're going to get today, which should be around 13 £14 million, I think, for finishing in whatever position we finish in. Right, we've stuttered through till half-time. Give it till 60, and then we're going to get some subs on. Dybala. Ooh. So it's his last, last game in professional football, Dybala. So we had to give him a start. Here he is. Ooh, is that Uda Beko? I hope. <laughs> he nearly scored. He nearly scored. And we'll look at getting Svani on. Um, Goretti's not been great recently. I think we'll still try and do deal for Goretti and Isovic. Strengthen around them. We need strikers. We need we need a we need a striker. A really good striker as well. Right, Silva. Silver's one that we have to look at. We'll interest to see what Liverpool do with him. We've had him on loan for so many years. I think it'll get to a point where they either tell him we can't have him anymore because they're going to use him or we can we get the opportunity to buy. Hedic, hit. Oh, good save from Angus Gunn. Yeah, so I think that's where we're at, especially Reed as well. We, I, the, I think we can get them cheaper than what they're probably valued at the moment. Reed's valued at 13 if he ends up being transfer you know, we get him cheaper. I think Silver's around the £9 million mark. Oh, God, I thought I was going to go in. No, it isn't. Quest has saved. Both teams have had chances. Right, Warren. Dybala. Glendon. Captain Marvel. Hedic. Dybala. Zesevich. Here he is, here he is, here he is. No, he's been off it as well. He's been off it for a long time. And we need to try and find someone on sort of like De Nicola's level. Oh, they're going to score. Offside, maybe? Offside? Anybody? No. Yeah, so losing De Nicola has been the real kick in the teeth. It was good money. I think it's a transfer that maybe would have had to have happened at some point anyway, but... There you go, Lewis. You're on, buddy. Yeah, it was a transfer that probably had to be done. Moving on to a bigger club. But we have missed him. Maybe it's given me the it's given me the time to understand 
how important he was and how much of a replacement that we need. We have got Mijatovic, but he just never stays fit. He never stays fit. Right, we've got half an hour to play. We haven't done too bad. We haven't done too bad. We've had lots of the ball. We've had chances. We're not really going to keep clean sheets. Right, Bruno Fernandes. H. Here he is, that Spanish region that they've managed to get. Mackenzie's fired it in. Absolutely free. Six yards out, boys. Ooh. Gun's gone long. Can we get it? No. Out to Enrich, this youngster again. Warren's done well. Can we get a second ball? Nope. We've been done. Down that left-hand side. We've tackled, but we're going to lose the ball again. Enrich. Bruno Fernandez. He's going to hit it. He's wide. Yeah, so I think, transfer-wise, I think we need about 10, uh, easy 10 players. It's got, literally going to be a complete rebuild. Right, McKenzie. It's absolutely all Fulham. 3-0. We made such a decent first half performance as well. Painful. Painful end to the season. And there it is. We finished in 13th. We managed to finish in 13th. So that'll help us. That'll help us a little bit. Money. Extra couple of pennies in the bank. Bit of football manager merch as well this morning. Right, we've been given £18 million pounds finishing that. So that's all right, isn't it? So the finances is, is 108 in the bank, £106 million pound profit. I just have a feeling that they're going to be really tight and only give us a little bit more. So here's Mijatovic, look. He's just, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. We just need him to stay fit. So yeah, that was it. He had a hernia. So when we started, look, from when we sort of like lost to Nicola in the end of... Um, the end of January, he got a hernia and then he literally came back for like a week and then was out for four weeks and missed the end of the season. So we could get a tune out of him. He's still only 20. I still think we need options in there. Record high though for City. They've never been in the top division. We'll take it. First season in the Premier League, we will take it. Alan has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uda Beko, Samba, Ainley, Steer. Silver's obviously there. Theobald's still there. Charlie Oliver's still there. What a guy. Are these are they league appearances? No. They're overall appearances. They're overall appearances. So there is that was George Glendon's three hundredth appearance as well. How's Miss Stretter done? Nothing. He's done out. Goretti player of the season. Completely went off the ball though. We'll try and get we need to get him back, don't we? Maybe even make him a centre forward. Get him back and use him as a forward, maybe. Harris Herich, done well for us. 20 year, 20 year old now worth 26, 26 point five million. What's his release clause? Well, he hasn't got one unless we get relegated, which is okay. Club Vision still want us to fight bravely. We'll accept that. <laughs> This is what I mean. You should all you should all be aware by by now. The club has stated an objective to become an established national league team. Okay, I therefore need your report back. Yeah, we need to get relegated. What four years in the trot for that to happen? Never mind. We're good enough not to be relegated. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, fuck me. Went well. Dybala. Dybala only one liked it. And he's fucking off. Oh, USA. We gotta go USA, aren't we? <laughs> We've hit the big time. This is our best youth prospect at the moment, Jerry or Jerry or Callahan. He's not great at the way, so he's not going to be Premier League standard. Zasevic third in the goal of the season. Come on, give me some. Oh, here we go. Money, money time, money time, money time. So we're on fifty-one million. We've made one hundred six million pound profit this year, and they're giving us less money, less money than what was in the transfer budget. How is that? They've taken three million off what I'd, I had. Ah. We need about ten players, literally, and I'm not including backups. So, with our players that we've, 
with the players that we've got. Right. Quest I'm happy with. Okay. No right back at the moment. Kovac I'm happy with. Need another one. Oh, no Jason Reed. Left back we need. Boxing midfielder I'm happy with Herich. Deep line playmaker I'm happy with. We've got no wingers. No wingers. We've got Udebeko. That's it. So we already need that. And then the players that I want to keep out of the youngsters that are, are good enough. Matija Lutic is good enough. Dennis Sakir will probably keep. Glendon. Colette as a backup. Svan as a backup. Drago. So what have we got there? We've got 11, even though obviously they're not going to, we've got 11 players. So we need about at least 10 in. Some, some of these other ones will stay, sort of like your Luke Thomas, because he's a, he's a, he's a our boy, Nathan Dyer, probably while Kia may stay. Um, but then players like Russell Garden, just not Premier League standard. Emile Smith-Rowe, we're going to try and offer out, we're offering him out right now, see if we can get anything for him. Yeah, so it's going to be a busy, busy pre-season. I think we're going to try and offload players like Alan Ack, Gardner, Maniero, um, Smith Rowe. Try and get back in some of, you know, players like Warren just are not good enough for Premier League. We literally need two left backs, two right backs, a couple of centre halves. Um, we need a really good deep line playmaker. We need left and right wingers. Holy shit. We've got a lot of work to do. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Um, We've got a lot of work to do. But as a first season, I think that's been pretty good. Has been pretty good on the whole. If the if the defeats were spread out a little bit more across the season, hopefully new squad will bring a little bit more of positivity for the new season. Set. I want to get that real decent striker. Sort out the defence as well. We're going to have to make three key signings in at the back. Two full backs and a centre half. Be prepared for a big episode on, what, Sunday morning when we go through all the transfers. All right, guys, have a good one. Check out the channel for the rest of the stuff over the week. Remember, video on the football shirts on Saturday. Uh, next episode of Non-League to Premier League, Sunday mornings now. And Thursday, if you are new to FM and you've just started picking it up, I've got a little video on 10 tips. So 10 tips I would give to new beginners, starting saves, teams to pick, um, little things you can do tactically, stuff like that. All right, guys. As always, thank you very much. See you later.